Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at Git Reset and finally hoping to understand the three different ways you can call it. You can call it with soft, mixed and hard. Now what happens in each of those scenarios? Well, we need to be able to see what's going on inside Git as we run it to really understand that. To that end, we're going to use a visual Git here, which shows us updates to the working area, the staging area and the repo itself as we issue the commands. Um, if you don't really understand or know what the working, staging and repo are, worth checking out this video first just to get a refresher on that. But this is the scenario we're going to use. Um, I'll clear this down for now so we can start from scratch um, and then we'll understand the setup a little bit better. So, uh, whoops. Yeah, let me go into reset and we'll do a visual web. That should open up a new one for us once I initialize it. So it should, yeah, so we get a new repository here now that's blank and I'm going to create a file in here that just got the text item one. And we'll put that in file one dot text. We'll add it to our repo and we'll commit that as um, added file one. All right, so this is just the setup to get in, get us in position to be able to run Git Reset. Um, let's add now onto that. So we'll add item two appended to file1.txt. And we'll add that one in again. So here's our file one here. I'll just bring this up and get it over to the right so that we can see this a bit easier. Because you kind of want to picture this left to right. You have the working area where files start, they go into the staging area and then into the repo over here. Um, so there's our first commit with file one and you can see it's just got the text item one in there. Uh, and this has got item one, item two. And when I commit this, um, added file two, then we should see this, this next commit come down. It'll probably be over here. All right, and we got our second file there. So this is the scenario where I want to try and, and show the differences with reset. So if we wanted to a reset um, back to the initial commit, so what a reset will do is it will move the branch, if you're on a branch, or the head back to the commit that you specify. And, and then it will either or both or neither update the working area which is our folder here where we're making our file changes and the staging area which is like the git index um, okay so let's let's start let's do um, well let's look at the file just to, to confirm where we are so file one at the moment has the text item one item two we can see that in our working area here and this is our working area here and the staging area yeah it's got the same thing item one item two and it refers to file one with the hash OCD4, which is this guy down here on the bottom, this guy down here, OCD4. We're going to reset back up to this commit. Um, but what happens when we do a reset depends on which of those three parameters we pass to it. Let's start, um, which is probably the easiest one to understand, um, with git reset hard. So let's do a git reset hard. Um, and then we need to specify where we want to go, where we want our branch here to point to. And we want to point it up to this first commit, AD2E. So we just want to do AD2E. Okay, so it says head is now there. It, because we're on a branch, it will actually move the branch. So you can see this branch moved up from file two now to file one. It won't let me move it, but I am. Um, so yeah, the branch gets updated, and that always happens, whether it, regardless of whether we do a soft, a mixed, or a hard. But the difference is what happens in these two areas here, the working area and the staging area. Now, with Git Reset Hard, it's going to update both. It does everything it can. It updates the working area, and it updates the staging area. And it updates it to the file that is in the repo. So file1.txt on this commit, the first commit, only has the text item one. And you can see in here now, in the staging area, we've only got item one. And the working area, we've only got item one. 
and we can confirm that in here the working area is item one this is internal in git so it's hard to check but this is extracting it for us which which makes it easier um so git hard updates both of them so you're in a kind of a nice clean state because if i do a git status it's like yeah we're on master there's nothing to commit the working tree is clean nothing has changed so it's it's removed this item for us completely it's as if it didn't exist um and everything is looking safe and clean okay let's 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 reset the branch back to file two so we can try the next one so i'll do a git reset hard and i'll set it back to three eight a four and we should see this branch update down to here now yep so it's pointing back there and it did the same that that hard like the way i'm resetting it back there did hard so it updates the staging area so we've now got item one and item two same with the working area item one item two and git status will be clean so when you do a git reset hard it's nice and easy to understand it just completely updates everything everything is consistent let's try git reset mix now so at the moment we're down here the master branch is pointing here we're going to reset it to ad2e again so let's do a git reset ad2e but this well, actually I only want to put it here but this time we want to say mixed which is the default if you didn't put any parameters that would be the default um, ad2e okay all right immediately it says there's unstaged changes here now why is that well you can see this time something is different these files between the staging area and the working area are not consistent anymore the working area which is our folder here has still got the latest file it's still got the file from commit to added file added item two um you can confirm it in here you can see it's got that so that hasn't changed we've reset so we're on this path here to file one, but it hasn't changed it in our folder. That said, it has changed it in the staging area. It's updated it there to match to where we are. So our staging area matches where we reset to, and the repo matches where we reset to, but our working area doesn't. And that means it's essentially as if we've just changed the file. Well, the situation we're in is as if we've changed the file in here um to have item two added is as if we've added that in that's how it looks to git and because of that when you do a git status you can see it's saying we've modified file one yeah we have well it has by by doing the um uh the reset hard and, and look it's saying yeah we've added item two um you know we didn't change the file but because the file in our working area is still the new file, it looks as though it's changed. Um, so git reset hard updates both. It updated the working area and the staging area. Git reset mixed only updates the staging area. Now git update soft keeps on with that idea and it won't update any of them, uh, which puts you in an even stranger position. Um, so let's let's reset back here again so I can show it. So let's do a git reset hard 38A4. So we'll be down here again, git reset hard, so it updated the staging area. Working area was already updated and we're over here. So everything is consistent again. There's no changes that, that git can see. Everything's as it should be. Um, and let's do a git reset soft back to ad2e all right now let's see as we were saying it's complete opposite of hard hard updates staging area and working area you can see it flicks back there so it always updates the repo you know our branch will point now to this commit here but these they for a soft these don't change at all um so when i do a git status here rather than um saying we've we've changed the file we've actually now got changes to be committed and that's because the only difference we've got is between the staging area and the repo so the working area and the staging area match this is if 
um, we've we've modified the file and we've done a git add and now there's a difference between staging area and repo and git sees that as you've staged something and so we're now ready to do a git commit if i did git commit now it would add it into the repo um, and so that is the differences between the three of them um, so git hard is quite easy to understand git mixed um, just updating the staging area and get soft the complete opposite of get hard it doesn't update anything for you so depending on exactly what you're trying to do you can pick the one that's most appropriate for the case uh, there you go get reset hope that's helped hope that demystified a little bit thanks very much for watching give me a thumbs up if you liked it ah, thumbs down if not catch you next time though cheers bye